I'll be selling it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. If you're new here, this is Love Kristen, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I am going to be cleaning out my closet, doing a closet declutter, whatever you want to call it. We are purging some clothes. So within the past year, I've done a full KonMari method style declutter of my closet. On this channel, I will have that linked above if you are curious. So in today's video, I'm going to be leaving all of the clothes on the hangers. I'm just going to be going through it and trying to figure out what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. So I used to work a nine to five office job and Sorry, my cats are making a lot of noise. I used to work in an office and so more than half of my closet is my work clothes. And that is what I'm struggling with the most on whether I wanna keep them or not. So I think what I'm gonna do is just figure out first if it fits me or not because I've gained quite a bit of weight since I quit working. We've moved twice and my style has just changed. So whether I would ever wear the clothes again if they fit me or you know just kind of try to work through it in my head and not just keep it because oh if I get the job I'm gonna need clothes yeah you don't need that many clothes so that's kind of my thought process going into the closet today taking stuff out that I don't feel confident in and working through some of my office clothes I hope you guys enjoy it if you do don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel turn on my post notifications but without further ado let's get right into today's video I've already explained how I'm going to be doing this, but just really quickly, I'm going to go through each piece and decide if it still fits or not. If it doesn't, I'm going to decide if I ever want to wear it again. And if I think that I do, then I will put it in my other room where I have some clothes that are too small that I want to fit, which I need to go through those clothes again because I'm kind of getting to the point where it's been two and a half, three years now since I've worn some of those. And I know for a fact that I'm not gonna wanna wear them again. So I need to reevaluate those. I did that in my last closet clean out, but I need to do it again. And if I can make some money on some of them, or I just simply know that I'm not gonna wear them anymore, I need to get rid of them and quit hanging on to them. First up, we have my tank tops. I sadly have some that still have the tags on them. I'm just not super confident in light colors right now. <laughs> this is actually a brand new shirt that I'm wearing, but it's pretty oversized if you guys can tell. And this obviously is a pretty tight white tank top, but in all fairness, I have not even tried to wear it. I am going to try to make myself wear this one. And if I don't wear it or I try it on and don't like it, then I will sell it. But for now, I'm going to keep it and try to wear it. This is an iffy for me. I wore the heck out of it, got plenty, plenty of wear out of it, but I haven't worn it in a while. I just haven't wanted to put it on because I feel like the last couple times I wore it, I didn't feel very confident in it. So maybe I'll put it to the side and whenever summer rolls around, try it again. And if it doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and just get rid of it. Okay. I love this shirt. This is another one identical to the white. Look, it doesn't look the tags are on it. But I don't remember wearing it, so that's kind of weird. But these three are the same. Okay, so I'm going to keep those. This shirt, I used to wear the heck out of it. I actually got it in a size bigger because the other one was too small. And I feel like this one's tight now. <laughs> so I, again, I need to make myself wear this and see. And if not, then I'm going to get rid of it. That's a black one and the same. So these are all, all four of these are identical. I wear that one all the time. This one, I don't like the way this fits me, but I keep it in here because I just would rather have a black tank top that didn't fit very well than wear, like, I wear it, even though I'm not that comfortable with it. This one I like. This one, when I look at it, I always think I'm not going to like it, and then I put it on and I like it, so I'm going to keep it. I wear this one all the time. This one I wear... Okay, so this is actually going to be kind of a hard section for me because these are t-shirts and that may sound silly, but I went through, well, I guess even now <laughs> I'm in the phase where I wear a lot of t-shirts as probably most of us are. But here's the thing is I only wear like three or four of these realistically and I had bought several because I was wearing them so much. And then I started realizing that there was some that I just preferred over others. And I've kind of felt bad about getting rid of them. But honestly, this is like a big section of my closet and they need to be pared down. 
See, I'm struggling because there's like nothing wrong with this, but I just don't reach for it. I'm gonna keep it. This is kind of a pajama shirt. This, I definitely just don't reach for. This is one that I recently got. It's Levi's, literally never reach for it. So we're gonna get rid of that one. Same thing here, bought it. Actually, Justin bought it. He never reached for it, so I put it on my side. I never reach for it, it's going. These are my St. Croix shirts that I got while I was there. I loved them, I wore them so, so much, but they kind of have like a weird boxy shape now. I don't know if you can tell. So I don't ever reach for them anymore, but I feel like if I go back that I'll want these because like I, won't, I know it won't really matter if I mess them up. But like, is that a good enough reason to keep them? It's just so weird because I went from wearing them literally every single day on repeat <laughs> because I just genuinely liked them. They were comfortable. The struggle is real, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna leave them in here for a little while longer. We haven't even been back that long, so. I might wait till the summertime, and if I still don't really pull for them in the summer, then I'll get rid of them. This was Justin's that I got from him whenever we first started dating. I used to wear it all the time, but it's a large, and I just prefer my t-shirts to be like a 2X to be really oversized. And so I don't ever reach for this one anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. All of my t-shirts and tank tops are done. I got rid of two, three four in that category. So from here all the way over to the end of my closet is the clothes that I was talking about that I have like a hard time with. I used to keep my clothes similar to this side where it is like tank tops, short sleeves, long sleeves, sweaters, hoodies, jackets. I like to categorize them. Well, this year, whenever I moved all of my fall clothes into my closet, I decided to do it a different way. And I color coded all of my clothes. I keep going back and forth on how I feel about it, if I like it or I don't like it. But I'm gonna leave them this way for now. And then I think whenever I pull my fall winter clothes out in the spring, I'll go back to the way they were before because I have the most fall winter clothes, even though we have like two months that I can wear them. <laughs> I guess I just like fall and winter clothes. So yeah, it goes all the way back here and then I have sweaters, cardigans, dresses, although I don't have that many dresses anymore, on the back part. I guess I'm just gonna go piece by piece again and just have to decide if I think I'll ever wear it and if I think it doesn't fit, then I need to try it on. So let's do this. So this is a spring and summer top that I figured I could wear with a cardigan. I haven't because I haven't worked in an office, but I know that this fits and I know that I do like the way it fits. I need to try this on. I wore it a ton, but I honestly think it's probably too small now. So I need to try that on. Same thing with this shirt. I haven't put it on for in forever, but I need to try it on. I actually love this shirt. It has a lining built in because it's white and so that way it's like not see-through. I think it's so cool. I absolutely hate the way the shirt fits on me. I wore it whenever I was in St. Croix, but honestly, I think I can just let it go. So this shirt and this shirt both were shirts I lived in when I was in St. Croix and I'm just gonna move them to my other closet with my spring and summer clothes. I left them in here because at the time I was still reaching for them, but now that we're like in the middle of winter, I'm not reaching for them anymore. And so I think they can go. I've had this mock neck tank top for a couple of years. I wore it a ton to work. I honestly don't know if it fits me anymore, even though it is flowy. So I need to try that on. And then if it doesn't, I can move it to my other closet. I need to try this on. Don't know if it still fits. I've had it a couple of years. I wear it, but I just don't know if it fits. Same thing with this shirt. I need to try it on. So when I was working in an office, I kept this around. I thrifted it actually, and I would wear it enough times to make it worth having. But every time I would wear it, I just didn't like it. And I'm just not a fan of gray on me. And so I think now is the time to go ahead and just let it go. <laughs> okay, I can't believe I even have this in my closet. I almost know for a fact that this won't fit me. It is so cute. I bought it from a friend without seeing it, and it was pretty 
piled whenever I got it. So I think it's time to just donate this baby. Like I just know that it's not gonna fit. <laughs> Let it go. Okay, so this shirt I've kept around forever because it's such a classic. It's a black and white striped shirt. I love it. But surprisingly, I just never wear it. And like when I try to, I don't like that it's just a fitted t-shirt. I don't like this part because when I wear it, typically I would wear it as a nicer like work shirt. And so this white piece around the collar makes it look more casual. And I don't like that it's just cotton material. I prefer like silkier cotton. I don't even know what the word is. So honestly, on top of the fact that I think it's going to be too small now, I think it's finally time to just say goodbye. Okay, so this shirt makes me really sad. I bought it from a boutique that I love. It is this super cute hoodie. And as you can probably see, the material is that really lightweight cooling airy like amazing fabric that I just love but I just don't like the way it fits me and honestly it's at least one size if not two sizes too big it's just a boxy fit and so I can technically get into it uh, and like it's one of those where you pay more money than you want to just because you think it's so super cute I'm gonna go ahead and throw it up on my Poshmark or my Instagram or both, which I will have linked in the description box. So if you guys are interested, it's a large, like I said, I will put it up on my Poshmark. It is literally one of the most cutest hoodies. It's just so unique. Anyways, unfortunately, I'm gonna say goodbye. This is another one of those shirts that I need to move to my summer wardrobe. So I got this shirt. It's like a long, long tunic. I was going to wear with leggings or a skirt, but I just never have pulled, pulled it out of my closet to wear it. So I think I'm also going to sell this one. So I need to try this shirt on. I don't know if it fits. It's from American Eagle. Um, it's several years old. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just don't know if it fits. So I need to try that on. So fun fact, this is actually the shirt that Justin and I got married in. We just went to the courthouse, but yeah, that's the shirt. That's This is my wedding dress. I need to try this shirt on. I have no clue if it fits. Also need to try this sweater on. I moved it in here this fall without knowing if it fit. And also I haven't worn it or even reached for it. So no, I'm, let me just try it on first and then I'll decide. This is an American Eagle sweater. It is a burnt orange. It has this hole in the back. I love this sweater. It is held up phenomenally. I just don't think that I'll reach for it. And so I'm going to go ahead and sell this one too. If you guys are interested, it is a large and it's not one of their oversized larges. Okay. So I bought this as a basic to go under cardigans to wear to work. And I remember last year just not loving the way it sat around my neck. It has like super cute, I forget what you call that. But anyways, it's a ribbed, just a plain old tank top. I've worn it like twice, maybe three times. It's in amazing condition. So I'll probably go ahead and sell this too. This shirt has also lived its lifespan in my closet. It has super cute arm detailing on it. It's kind of a longer t-shirt. It's again, it's that really light, soft cooling fabric. I'm gonna go ahead and post this one for sale too. So this is another one that I need to try on. I wore it a lot, got it at a boutique in the mall, but I don't know that I'll I don't know if it'll fit and even if it does I'm not sure it's my style anymore so I need to figure that out. I thrifted this, never wore it, love it. I'm just not a big collared person. It doesn't flatter my figure very well but it's from Old Navy so I'll probably go ahead and put it up on my Poshmark because it is a really good plaid shirt. Okay, this shirt I've loved, I've worn. It's from American Eagle. It's their soft and sexy collection. So it's it's just, it's amazing. I don't think it's my style anymore. I don't think I'll reach for it. And on top of that, I don't think it'll fit me anymore. It might, actually it probably does fit me. I think it's had its lifespan in my closet. Same thing with this one. I got it at a boutique. I wore it a few times. I never really loved it on me. So instead of holding on to it for the what if, moment as if I have nothing else to wear, I'm going to say goodbye. 
So this actually does fit me, but I just never reach for it. I have other black t-shirts that I would rather wear. It is Forever 21 Plus. This is a 2X. It actually fits me perfect for reference. It has the same scallop detail on the sleeve and on the bottom. I don't think I've ever worn it. I believe I washed it, hung dry it, and put it in my closet, and that's where it's been. So if anybody is interested, I will be putting that up on my Poshmark. All right, so this shirt I've actually never worn either. It's the Who What Wear line from Target. It has these super cute sleeve detailing on it. It's a sweater material. I don't know if I said that already, but it's a size large. I personally have never worn it. I did buy it secondhand, but it's in amazing condition. So I will post that on my Poshmark as well. And hopefully one of you guys can get some use out of it. So unfortunately you're gonna get a super up close view of me right now because I need to go through this section of clothes, but you can't really see it further back in my closet and we're in like a really tight space. Hopefully it's not making you too claustrophobic. These are all of my cardigans and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've only worn like half of these this year. I just haven't had a real need to wear cardigans and on top of that, it makes me feel like broader and like more bulky than I already am if they aren't like thinner cardigans. So I think it's time that I just be really honest with myself and let some of these go. Okay, so these are two dresses. You know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go through my whole section and then I'll show you the pieces that I'm getting rid of and tell you why. Okay, so I just went through my cardigans and I did actually pull quite a few from that section and I just kind of want to quickly go through them and show you guys. So these first two are identical. They are long sleeve. I guess you would call them midi dresses. They go right to your knee. I wore the heck out of them to work because I would, I could just throw them on with nothing else some comfy flats and go <laughs> but i just think they've had their lifespan in my closet they are amazing and they're super comfortable and i just think somebody else could get some better use out of them so i'm gonna post these to my poshmark this i only wore a couple times i bought it on at an online boutique and i bought it too big and I just don't like the way that it lays on me. I'm like looking at it trying to decide if I should try it on again because it's been a while. Maybe I'll try this on again, but if not, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. So this is one of those that I was talking about whenever I said I just needed to be honest with myself. I love this cardigan. <laughs> it is just super fuzzy. It's like an off-white, beautiful Christmas, winter, like all of those things but I just don't feel confident in it. And so therefore I don't reach for it. So why keep it? <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of it. This is just old. I don't reach for it. Um, I keep it cause I'm like, well, I could put it over some pants and a tank top and like it could be cute, but I just don't. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I bought this, I seen it at the store, came home, didn't buy it. All night long, I couldn't quit thinking about it. The next day, I just couldn't wait to go back to the store and buy it. And I did, and I haven't worn it. It still has the tags on it. So I'm gonna try to find the receipt and just return it. But if not, I'll put it up on my Poshmark. But it is the cutest green jacket. And again, I'm just not into the whole collar thing. So I don't know what made me think I would wear it with this but my arms are kind of short and it just feels like it swallows me even though it's my size <laughs> yeah bad purchase this also i love it's very fall winter color palette um it's so beautiful it's thin enough to wear in the south during the fall and winter but i just don't love the color on my skin i feel like it kind of washes me out and so i'm just gonna let it go Okay, so I'm about to go through my pants and I know already that I have so many pair that I wanna get rid of. That's honestly what inspired me to do this video is I've been wanting to clean them out. And so yeah, I need to get rid of some pants that I just know I'm not gonna wear. So it's gonna be hard for me to bring you guys back here, but I will show you the ones that I'm gonna be getting rid of. 
All right, so this pair right here is another one of those things that I bought. Still have the dang tags on. I haven't reached for them mostly because I only like to wear black, but that was the whole reason in buying this pair of pants was to try to wear something besides black. So my first order of business is gonna be to try them on and see if they still fit. And if they do, then decide if I want them. And if not, I'm probably going to sell them. Also, I got this pair of joggers when I was in Orlando. They are just Adidas joggers. And I've just come to realize that I'm just not a joggers person. And so I know good and well that one of you guys would rather wear these. They do fit me, but I just don't like them on me. Okay, so these two pair of pants right here are just not my thing anymore and they're it's just time to say goodbye that's just all there is to say about those all right so same thing kind of with these i wanted to branch out and wear something besides black to work but i try to wear them i don't like the way they look on my body they're just wide leg dress pants um elastic waistband super stretchy they're not stiff at all and they're just not for me so i'm gonna let these go as well Okay, so so far I have those two stacks and then all of that <laughs> there and what's falling on the floor to either try on or just plain old get rid of. Obviously, I still have plenty enough clothes left. I do space mine out quite a bit, so it looks like it's more. I'm pretty happy with the progress. I know that I wear all of these, or at least I think I will. So as far as the shoes go, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at there. There is one pair of boots back there that I need to try on to see if they fit. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with my shoes. I think there is like a pair of tennis shoes that I want to get rid of right there with the blue on the back. But yeah, otherwise, I'm really happy with this. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm not going through my dresser, we just moved into this house like five months ago and it took me a couple months to actually organize my dresser and when I was doing that I went through those clothes and I will have that video linked here if you're curious about my dresser and how I organize it. So I think that's actually all that I'm gonna do today. I just need to try these on really quick, decide if I wanna keep them and then whatever I don't wanna keep I will post on Poshmark. So let's try a few of these things on together real quick. So this is actually so many more clothes than I thought I was gonna get rid of going into it. Okay, so this is the first shirt that I'm trying on to see if I like how it fits. I feel like I could wear this if I needed to, but also I feel like it's kind of tight up here. Obviously the looseness like gives me room, but I just don't think I'm very comfortable in it. And honestly, I remember feeling that before. So, I don't know. I'm so torn on this one, you guys. Because this is like, it's just a super cute and comfy shirt for work. And then you can like wear a cardigan over it and you can take it off if you need to and still be decent. Uh, I think it's time though. I think I'm going to let this one go. Okay, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to show this one on camera because it's freaking tight everywhere. Eh, going to move that to a different closet. So again, this one is just too tight. It's the one that has the double layer, but I just know good and well that I'm never gonna wear this like it is because it shows everything. So let's get rid of it. Okay, so this is a sweater. I'm like looking in the viewfinder at it, but I just, it's just too tight. It's just too tight. I just don't like wearing stuff that is this form fitting. Um, not a big fan of this color on me, kind of blends in with my skin I feel like so maybe I'm just gonna actually fully get rid of this one okay so this shirt's the same way it does fit me it was from Target but I just am not a fan of this oatmeal color on me so I think we're just gonna sell this one too okay so this is the last shirt that I need to try on it is a sweater I don't even know if I've worn it I'm not gonna lie if I have it's been literally once it just has this detail on the front. I don't know if you can see it. Again, I think it's just too tight. Yeah, I'm never going to reach for it. I'll be selling it. Okay, so I want to show you the final result after trying everything on. So this is the pile that I'm going to be selling. This is the only shirt that's going back in my closet that actually fits kind of, but if I needed it, I could wear it. And then all of these are either 
a different season or they're too small but I want to keep them so they're going to be going in my office closet and that's where you and I are going to go next I have a ton of clothes in there I have clothes in there from my last closet clean out that I intended on selling that I've actually slowly been posting on Poshmark so if you don't follow me over there definitely go follow me um, I want to post them all and get them sold I recently got a mannequin so I can like make them look nice and you guys can see what you're actually working with but I have sizes small through 1x <laughs> literally that I need to sell from the last three years of my weight fluctuating so without further ado let's go in that closet and just really quickly go through it and see if anything else can be gotten rid of So this whole row from here all the way over needs sold. All of this needs sold. These are all my Alabama shirts and this is the section of clothes that are for spring and summer or this section needs to be gone through. I didn't even bother bringing them into my other closet because I just don't think they'll fit. So most likely all of this needs to be sold. And then all of these clothes are clothes that I know for a fact don't fit, that I think I want to keep, but I need to go through those again too. Here is Miss Manny Quinn that I got to sell clothes, and this is one thing that I'm selling. I just got it in the mail actually, and unfortunately I don't like the way it fits. So I will be posting this online if you guys are curious, but unfortunately due to the state of this office and the closet in general i'm just not gonna bother going through the clothes i'm gonna sell those 300 pieces of clothes that need sold and then whenever that's done i will go through the rest of them and see what needs to be sold but um i invest too much money in my clothes just to donate them like i'm not rich <laughs> and so i have a really hard time letting them go even though like i know eventually i might have to so if you guys want some reasonably priced some name brand some not clothes go check out my poshmark but um thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions definitely let me know and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button click the subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye guys i don't wanna know it's a show i just gotta know